When life gives you lemons, print out a return label and send that back. So I came out here to my private cabana to shoot a cool video for you guys, but turns out I'm sweating my ass off. It's really way too hot out here. We gotta move. As much as I would love to shoot right here, I can't. I'm out here waiting for my car, and I'm trying to go on a little bit of an adventure here in Miami. My girl is working. It's Sunday. I've got nothing really else to do except for go on an adventure. Right now I'm sitting in a weird part of Miami called Wynwood. It used to be an old industrial part of town where there was a lot of warehouses and shops and places where people were making stuff. And then it all stopped. What ended up happening is that a lot of people started coming here and artists, as you can see, had easy accessibility to all the walls here. And they started graffitiing, they started painting, whether you like it or not. I think it's pretty dope. And then they started opening restaurants and bars and had events and now there's tons of people here that come to enjoy this spot all the time. Even though it wasn't too long ago, there was nothing here. This is where all the creative stuff happens, where there's just so much color and there's so much soul. They're building apartments here and what they're really doing at the end of the day is they're turning this place that used to be this old, grimy, nasty, closed down industrial lot into this really cool, really chic, really fresh, modern art district that's full of life, vibrance, and people that are here to enjoy it. All of those closed doors, the closed shops, the closed everything is now an opportunity for people to get rental space, pennies on the dollar, open up their dream, follow their heart and do what they want to do. And this whole area stinks of potential. And I'm not the only one that sees that. This place is pretty cool though. At the end of the day, since you're a human being, Bad things are gonna happen to you. Somebody's gonna break up with you. Somebody at some point is gonna break your heart. Chances are, if you go into business for yourself, you might have a hard time selling your product or you might even get sued. Sooner or later, your dog's gonna die. You might even have to go to the dentist to get a cavity removed. It's how you react to the bad things that happen to you that dictates the quality of your life. Like the place Wynwood over there, it's a super unique part of town because it's all graffitied up and there's so much art there and there's little bars and lounges and retail stores and all sorts of things happening there. They're building condos and apartments and huge infrastructure in that part of town because it's no longer an industrial part of town. What they did is they pivoted and created something new. Only two weeks into going into business for myself, I got sued by my former employer for a non-compete issue. Although I didn't exactly find myself as a competitor, my business was temporarily shut down. Over the last eight or nine months, I haven't worked. I haven't made any money, but I was able to pivot and start enjoying my life. I've been traveling, I've been going out, I've been hanging out with new people, I've been making new friends. I've been able to enjoy my life without having to punch a time clock and pick up the phone for somebody else. I've been able to do my own thing and live life on my own terms. Your ability to pivot in life when something bad happens or a door closes, and your ability to pivot and turn that situation into something new, something different, something profitable, something fun, something where you're able to find love and enjoy what you do, your ability to pivot those situations will completely dictate the amount of enjoyment that you get throughout your life. If I didn't mention it earlier, bad things will happen to you. And it's not about the bad things that happen, it's about how you react. And I just wanna encourage anybody that's going through any type of like rough patch or anything right now, stop focusing on the rough patch. You see, when you're looking ahead of you, you have a 180 degree, hopefully if you're using 
your peripherals and everything to... Hopefully, you're seeing 180 degrees ahead of you. There might be something better if you just turn around or you learn how to pivot. You don't have to spend a whole lot of time on the challenges and the negative circumstances in your life. All you have to do is pivot and look at something new and enjoy it temporarily until you can get back to doing what it is that you want and can be doing. All I'm trying to say is this. You're a human being. When bad shit happens, and it will, it's not about the bad shit that happens. It's about how you react to it and how you carry on from that point. Just remember, life is going to give you lemons. Remember, print out a return label and send that shit back.